everybody, Robert Ibarra here. After I got my stream key to start streaming on TikTok, I had a lot of questions. I wanted to know how can I see my chat and all the activity that's happening in the live stream and have it be smooth. And I was getting a lot of mixed responses from different people from the internet. And I had to do a lot of research to find out what's going to work best. Some people were saying just to look at your phone. Some people were saying just to open up the browser and get uh, get TikTok uh, in there, get the TikTok live, get the TikTok live page on a browser. I don't know. Just for me, that wasn't um, didn't seem like the best option. So I put together um, some docs on my OBS that helps me interact with with my chat and everyone and it makes it a smooth experience for me and i want to be able to share that with you all bunch of mirrors <laughs> let me turn this off okay kind of like inception there so i have all these docs here set up so i have the likes that are being sent to the stream the follows, shares, I have this in, in one doc. I have the chat all right here. And then gifts down here. So these are URL docs. Let me go ahead and open up my docs page here. Okay. So these are all the URLs that I plugged in here to be able to have these work. Okay. Let me go ahead and and simulate some of these so you can see how this looks when I'm streaming. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and simulate a follow. Simulate a like. And a gift. You'll you'll see pictures of the gift down here, but this is not just this is just not coming up in the simulation. And then you'll see all the chat going through here. And it works pretty smoothly. I found this tool called Techfinity. Techfinity is amazing. This is probably one of the best tools that I've found for TikTok Live. So I want to go over Techfinity and how this works. This has been a great resource for me, and I want to be able to share it with you all. Okay. So with Techfinity, what you do is you go ahead, the way you get this done is you go ahead and log in. And you'll log into your, your uh, through your TikTok. And so you go ahead and set things up here. And you're going to want to set up some actions and events. All right. So the actions are what do you want to happen? So let me give you some examples. So for me, I have a follow action. I have the likes. I have the gifts and I have the shares. You'll be able to customize this to your needs the way that you want to, but this is the way that I have things set up for my stream. So with so with the follow, I have a uh it, it'll play a, a beatbox sound, which is something that I have from my most recent stream. Uh, but I encourage you to be be creative with with getting this done. And then so for the likes. It'll show that that text that you saw that uh, sends likes for the gifts. It'll play the coin sound effect, and then it'll show uh, it'll show the their name as well. And then for shares, it'll show the this text that I have. This is customized for me. Um, some uh, things that I came up with. Thanks for sharing. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a, a live look inside these actions here. So for the follow, I have to play audio. Now here's a new feature that the developer just added. He installed a sound library, which is incredible. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, so he's got all these sound effects that are provided by myinstance.com. This is brand new, by the way, that you're able to include as an alert for your stream, which is awesome. This is brand new. So this is something that you can go ahead and add for different alerts. All right, so play that audio. That's what I have set up. And then show the alert. So mine says, thanks for the follow. So it'll show the user plus the text. And you can control the volume and set up overlays here. Okay. 
So these events will trigger what happens here. Like this will trigger the sound. It'll trigger a picture. And so after you set up these, so this takes some time. You want to take some time setting up your actions and events and just exploring this page and working with it and OBS. It takes some time, but uh, you want to be sure to set things up the way that you want them to. And so that everything looks nice for when you stream. Okay. So after that, you want to go ahead and go to your overlay gallery. So these are all the overlays that you have for what you just set up. So let's see. So you have a chat right here. You can display this chat on your stream. What I've been doing, I've been using that for a doc to go through my OBS. So I copied this URL and I plug that into docs right here and, and created custom browser docs. So the chat and then plugged my chat in there all right and then so the gift feed this is the url and you have and you have to be signed in so that way it can be linked to your stream and created a doc like i just showed you and then move this doc right here this is where this is where it's comfortable for me where i can see things so i can i can be able to interact and then there's some points animations um user info, command info. These are all things that may fit your needs. And here's your actions. So this is like where you have, you know, gifts, follows, all the actions that we were talking about earlier that we set up. And I went ahead and copied these URLs and plugged them into that custom doc and made all these docs with, with those overlays there. All right. So this is Tickfinity. Tickfinity is amazing. They have that new sound feature, um, a bunch of different overlays, tons of uh, useful tools. And so this is completely free. However, um, Tickfinity is amazing. If your stream gets bigger, then there becomes a few limitations with it. So for example, um, you'll have a maximum of 50,000 users and 10 custom actions. I really like Tickfinity. Tickfinity is helping me with my streams a lot. So I am uh, subscribing to Tickfinity, which is $20 a month. It's something that has helped me a lot. So I've chosen to, uh, to go ahead and subscribe. Uh, but there are so many different resources here that you can use that can make your stream more interactive. And there's also on the website some uh, lists of, of channels here that you can look at. Um, that can help you get an inspiration so you can um, and uh, take a look at how they're running their stream. And so, yeah, so that's everything with Tickfinity and how I set up these docs so that I can view everything that's going on in my stream in real time. All right, so that is how I set up my OBS so that I can interact with my stream in real time. And I hope this helps you out. If you have any questions about how things work or if you need some more help, feel free to reach out to me on my Discord server, and I'll leave a link in the description below. All right, guys, see you all next time. Take care. Peace.